Hello, welcome to Moth and Moon Soaps. Today I'm going to make my Dragon's Blood Soap Bar. Um, it smells really good. It's like an incense type of scent. It's very earthy and musky and um, just really rich, rich flavors. Um, not flavors, scents. And um, it's a fan favorite and uh, I'm just going to show you how to make it today. So here we go. Okay, so I have my oils already mixed and I have my lye here. Um, I do have a little lye lint, so I'm going to, oops, hold on. I'm going to strain it. You don't want to get all that lye lint um, in with your soap. Most of the time, the lilac sits on the top, so um, the last bit at the end you can just scrape in um, and you don't have to strain it, so easy. All right, here we go. Let's get this mixed up. Okay, now I'm gonna separate um, a little bit into a separate pitcher so I can turn it white and it won't be discolored um, because the fragrance oil you can see is super super dark so the soap will turn completely brown and um, I want to save some out just so it's pretty and decorated so I will just leave this one white and I'll add a little titanium dioxide powder to it to brighten it up. Okay guys, I'm going to pour my batter into my six pound box today. I'm making it a big one. So I will pour half of this main mixture in. And I use my spatula so I don't splatter or create more bubbles. I'll do about half. And then I'll do the other white stuff, uh, the white batter I did separately and I'll pour most of that in, in the middle. Save a little bit for the top. And then I'll pour the rest of this oops, on top. Okay, now I gotta swirl it.
Okay, so now I have my white on top and then I'm going to add my signature Dragon's Blood green mica. I just have a little bit of oil in this cup and I'm mixing my oil locking green shimmer from Crafter's Choice. And I'm just going to stir it up. It gets really pretty. It's really shimmery. Can you see how cool that is? It reminds me of nail polish. All right, so I'm just gonna take my spoon and do a couple drips and drops here and there. I use green because when I think of dragons, I think of green. And I just thought it complemented the scent and the brown and white. Now I'm going to take my skewer. It's going to take my skewer and run uh, run it around through the top and create really pretty swirls and patterns. Wow, this is really getting hard already, so I got to hurry. Got to hurry. Okay, I'm gonna go give it a little tap and then we're done. Okay, there you have it. Mothman Soap's Dragon's Blood Bar Soap. It's ready to go. I just have to spray the top with alcohol to prevent soda ash from happening. And then I put a lid on it, wrap it up in a towel gently, just like one layer uh, for uh, two days. Well, a couple, I don't know. Sometimes it takes, I, I okay, I take that back. <laughs> I do like 24 hours. I, then I take it out of the box and then I take it out of the paper and then I let it air dry for another 24 hours and then I cut it. So technically it's not in the box for two days. Um, it's in the box for 24 hours. All right, cool. So I'll come back and show you what it looks like when we cut it. I'm excited. I love this bar. It smells so good. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, see you soon. Okay, guys, it's been a couple days since my Dragon's Blood shampoo's been poured into the mold. And as you can see, it's nice and firm. Look at that so pretty and it's ready to be cut oh my gosh and the smell is amazing it's really it's kind of the end of the day and it's super cloudy out right now so it's a little dark in here for videoing but I had to do it because it was time to cut this and my day was a lot longer than just kind of got away from me but I have to cut this so I am just gonna cut it 
real quick and show you what the inside looks like. Well, so far <laughs> we have a line and then the other side is like a gentle little swirl. That's pretty cool. Delicate, but pretty. Mm, you can't get enough, it's so good. Aw. I always see butterflies in my swirls. Do you see that one in the middle? Looks like a heart, but a butterfly at the same time. So cool. It's always such a gift when I'm cutting my soap because I never know what I'm going to see inside. That looks like birds flying, like a big bird flying. So cool. Alright guys, well I'm going to continue cutting. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Moth and Moon Soaps and also on Facebook. And you can also shop at www.mothandmoonsoaps.com and see all the goodies I have available. These will be available in two weeks. So thanks for watching and I hope you had as much fun as I did and I look forward to making another video for you guys. All right, have a good night. We'll see you later. Bye.